We're also learning the identity of a man who was shot and killed at an RV park in Seaside. Police say officer shot Cassius Dean Case at the Seasider RV Park off Highway 101. Our Jennifer Dowling explains why neighbors say he was a hero rather than a suspect. His whole thing was to save lives yesterday, not to hurt anybody. And those cops gunned him down in cold blood. Kathy Rose and Michaela Wilson were on their way to pick up Rick in the hospital this morning following a grizzly dog attack. They said their friend Dino was shot while trying to defend him. Went in my house and brushed my teeth. By the time I got done brushing my teeth, he was dead. Because he walked from my front yard to his house and that fast they shot him. Kathy says her partner Rick was the man attacked by three aggressive dogs. And I want everybody to know that, that he saved his life. He was a hero. He was a hero yesterday. The Clatsop County District Attorney Josh Marquis confirms that the man who was killed is 44-year-old Cassius Dean Case. His office also confirmed he was defending his friend following the dog attack. Marquis says when officers arrived, Case confronted them and was armed with two black powder or Civil War era guns. He says because of previous felonies in 2012, Cassius wasn't supposed to have guns. He says body cameras captured a confrontation in which he waved them around that led police to shoot. I heard yelling and five gunshots and, and that fast. And all he was concerned was with saving lives. Yeah. Kathy says she's grateful that Dean stepped in here at the RV park to save Rick from the attack because she feels he may have lost his life as well. He's got like this whole nose split up through here, up in his mouth. He's got in his groin, his leg, they tore the tendons out of his back of his calf. He could. Three dogs went cujo on me and they attacked me. They went for his privates and then they got him down and that's what because he's a big guy he could have he defended himself but not against three dogs it's just a very tragic thing that happened nobody wanted anybody to get hurt yesterday i i feel for the seaside police officers who killed my friend and I, I do i feel for it's a rough job it's a tragedy for everybody involved. it's a horrible it's a horrible situation for everybody involved oregon state police will be leading this investigation in seaside jennifer dowling coin six news and as of tonight, the names of those officers involved have not been released yet.